So this episode of Black and Golf, we're going to talk friendship. I couldn't find any friends, so we got this guy. <laughs> Chauncey Bell. Whoa, I'ma start this off right. Ten toes down, don't jump off sides. When I touch down, pull up on site. I told y'all this all day, all night. I will tell y'all this. Me and Chauncey met, and again, we're trying to think about it. Like, when did I meet Chauncey? I don't know. I can't give you uh, an exact time. Chauncey used to work in the, the Interscope, music industry. Worked at Interscope when you met me. There, hopefully, we can find this clip. There's a clip of me and Chauncey probably like 21, 22 years ago, and you're with Jada Kiss. Yeah. You bought him in Philly. That's when you dropped the album. And we were talking, but I knew you way before that. Yeah. And that was 20 years ago. Right. The streets, my man. Jada Kiss is right here. You know what I'm saying? Chauncey's a nut. Jada, Jada's going yeah. down. We just here. I mean, it's, it's just fun, man. Like, what I'm about, just try to keep it real. I'm from the street. And we've just been globe trotting around forever. We for lived in LA for a little while. Yeah. Everywhere you went, I was there. I mean, you followed me. That's really what happened. That's real, yeah. I mean, you're a loser like that, but I don't want to talk about that. And Go this ahead. is our conversation. I mean, all day. Listen. This is nothing new. He's not putting on for the camera. He would, I'll call him for something. He'd be like, all right, a-hole, whatever. I'll do this for you. I don't really want to do it. That's our whole shtick for our, our always, entire relationship. Always. It's always been like that. But no, this feels good because we get to connect through golf. And, and yeah. a lot of times, a lot. Of, I was telling people, the reason why we're doing black and golf is because I want more black people in the I, world of golf. I, when I moved to LA and Tiger had just started, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Amon Parker and Dondre Woodfield, oh, which yeah, is one yeah. of my really good friends, both of them. But uh, Amon passed and me playing golf, man, every time I play golf, the reason I do it is because of him. Because wow. he got me in here, the competitiveness, to gamble a little with friends, you can talk crazy. Yeah. We play music, smoke cigars, have a great time. So, yeah. But also, I've been able to do some amazing deals through, through golf. I take people out, I'm spending four, three to four hours with you on the golf course, I get a chance to have a conversation with you. I know everything about you when I leave the golf course. Yeah. I understand if you're a cheater, if you're an honest man, I understand everything about you. Yep. I really, and you don't even have to say nothing. I could just go off your game and learn a lot about you. Yeah. And based off of this time that we spend on this golf course, tell me a lot about you. Yeah. Do this with precision, ain't gonna be no split decision. I was born to go the distance. Guess by now you see the difference. It's too trilly. Uh, right now, man, I have my own company called the Lumens Rose Group, and I consult a lot of fun companies. One of my main clients is Damon John uh, from Shark Tank, owner of FUBU. So I consult FUBU, I consult uh, all the FUBUs. Yeah. Uh, we just did a big launch with Forever 21. I'm doing great, man. Just a big transition from music yeah. to doing actual... Uh, I've always been doing business, but it's all yeah. the same thing. But now doing entrepreneurship, man, I love it. I should have yeah. been doing this a long time ago. No, sometimes people think when you're in the record industry, that can only be, I can only use those skills for the record industry. Like, how did you, how did you take the leap to say, all right, man, no, I can get out here and I can take you, what I've learned here and apply it somewhere else. You know what's crazy? I was always doing it. Mm. We always are doing it. Yeah. Cause you know what? You did radio, you would host a party or a club, or you do events. Yeah. You was doing stuff outside the box. What's the difference between what you do in the music business that you can't transition to corporate America or corporate into your own business? It's, yeah. it's business. Yeah. And I think as, as black Americans, I think we get caught up in we only can do one thing and we yeah. can be multiple things. And everything transitions into something else. You just gotta be willing to do the homework and have the ability to get out, look outside the box and not limit yourself. All right, well, speaking of outside the box, that's why I was hitting over here. Like, <laughs> yes, it's nice. Look at this. It's, high, it's a higher, it's yeah, a higher, it's a it, higher grass. It's a I quality feel like grass is here. Yeah, it's yeah. so lonely. Yeah, so look at like, that grass over there. It's not nice. Yeah, this is, yeah. That's good. I like yeah. that. Don't be silly. Who to go? You should call me Billy. Daisy Chain, that's the game. Moving through the city. The crew is with me. Run the game. We been up 50. Triple double. Don't be subtle. Whoa. For uh, New Year's, and we played. He was so infatuated with all the iguanas and everything and yeah. the trees. And he was like, yo, this is crazy. Because he never played golf. He's only played in Jersey. The thing is, just like, even, you know, what you said with your son. Your son's what, 18 now? 19. 19. So. Just even having that connection with him, you know, I've seen other dudes on the golf course playing with their 16-year-old son. Yeah. I'm like, man, oh, when my son gets that age, yeah, uh -huh. we can't have that time. How old are your kids? 10, well, about to turn 10, 11. 10, 11, 11 eight, 10. Yeah, yeah, 11, They 8, were born yeah, when I moved. Yeah, 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 yeah that's crazy. Yeah. Then, then I can build with them mm. and I can connect. It's just friends no, coming out playing. That's what they miss, man. You, you talk, like, you know, back in the day, we play on the basketball court 
or be in a court, you know, you, you might lose, you sit on the sideline, you talking, you spend that time talking shit, whatever. Yeah. And golf is the same way, man. We could talk shit. You know, people don't like you to talk in their swing. But yeah. I think black people are a little different. They're like, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> we used to, we used to madness around it. And if you can get that in your head, man, you can do anything. That's a, that's like, this is a great, I didn't realize back in the day, golf is a great example of life. Yeah, 1,000, 1,000 percent. Because it's not me against each other. It's, it's me mentally keep doing the consistent, being consistent in what I do. And that's that's the downfall of a lot of people. They think they gotta do stuff outside of box instead of doing what they do well yeah. and, and making the most out of it. But that's gone. Tell them I came for the title. Ain't none of my time in this idol. Talking to all of my rivals. I put my motor survival. Checking the signs and the vitals. I think they dead on arrival. Yeah, he's not really a good golfer, but I'm gonna I'm act like he's good. Oh, that's, that's okay. He hit the green, but I think he hit a car at the same time. This is crazy. Great job, that car is fine. That car, is, it's an old car, they need a new one. Don't worry about it. We just two dudes, bald dudes. That's true. Just playing, man. Do you have, is your headline still there? You it just, is, it's like, but it's still, it's like receded. Like it's there, but it's like. Yeah, yeah, you got kind of like yeah. in between. Mine, I got a full headline, just let really? you know. Yeah, yeah, I just like mine bald, so. So you just shaved your head because you, yeah, I'm, I'm hot in these streets, bro. Okay. I got a full set of, you know, full, I just don't like hair. You just don't like hair? That's, <laughs> that's your thing? Yeah. Like so you like, you're, you're against hair? Yeah, I like anti-hair. Like, you're a like Harris. an anti-vaxxer, I'm yeah. anti-hair. You're a Harris. <laughs> you're racist, okay. All right. Ooh. This is a special occasion mm -hmm. with my man Chauncey. This show is great because there's so many amazing black golfers. One of the things I want to do this this year is start sponsoring black golfers to go to the PGA Tour. Really? Yeah, that's one of my... Focus is that we I'm, I have one. I, I have yeah. a golfer. I have a golfer in mind that you can sponsor. We love the game. Yes. So why don't we give back to get some more brothers in the in, in the game? One thousand percent, man. Listen, Chauncey, we've been friends for a long time. If Chauncey doesn't talk shit to you, that means he doesn't love you. So, bro, I, I appreciate you, bro. I love you, man. You know what I mean? Love, love you, bro. Always. Toast to the good life. Good life, baby.